Okay, so today we're going to learn about the flow of the heart. The reason that it's important to know which way the blood flows in the heart is so that when there's problems with the heart, then you can kind of know what's, what's going wrong. So when you first think about the flow of the heart, we start with the inferior and superior vena cava. So your inferior below, superior above, and then the four, there's four different chambers of the heart. So on the heart, if you divide it into fours like this, and think about the atriums are on the top. So in the alphabet, A comes before V. So you have your atriums on the top, your ventricles are on the bottom, and you always want to start on the right side of the heart because the right side of the heart has the unoxygenated blood. So it all comes to the right side of the heart from the whole body. And it's those, the veins bring the unoxygenated blood up to the right atrium. So if you think about on the right side of the heart, the right atrium is where the blood goes into that's not oxygenated. Once it gets into this right side of the heart, it has to go through a valve to get into the right ventricle. So you have your right atrium, it goes through the tricuspid valve, so there's just there's four different valves that you have to memorize. And the tricuspid valve is the one that's on the right side. Tricuspid is on the right side, the mitral is on the left side. You can't really, uh, as far as the alphabet goes, now you have to think of it backwards. <laughs> so, um, but you have your, or the bicuspid. You'll hear it called the bicuspid or mitral valve. On the right side is the tricuspid. So this unoxygenated blood comes down through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, this valve has to close because if the valve doesn't close, the blood goes back up to, into the left atrium, and you don't want that to happen. So this valve closes, then another valve has to open up because it has to go to the lungs. That unoxygenated blood has to go get oxygen. So it goes through the pulmonic valve. And if you think about the pulmonary system, that's your lungs. And so if you put the pulmonic valve with the pulmonary system, you know that that's where it's going, is to the lungs. So this pulmonic valve opens up, and then you have the pulmonary artery. Now usually oxygenated blood is carried through the arteries. But until it goes to the lungs, the pulmonary artery has the unoxygenated blood. So it goes through the pulmonary artery, and then it goes to the right and the left side for the lungs. In the lungs, there's a gas exchange that takes place. So when you breathe in your oxygen, that exchange takes place within the lungs in the little alveoli, and then the, um, the carbon dioxide is what you blow out, the oxygen is what you take in. So now it, it has, the blood now has rich oxygenated blood. So that comes back to the left side of the heart and from the pulmonary vein. So the pulmonary artery takes it to the lungs, the pulmonary vein is what's bringing it back to the left side of the heart. So it comes back to the left side of the heart and then, the, so then you have your left atrium. It comes in on, by the left atrium. From the left atrium, it has to go through this bicuspid or the mitral valve to get into the left ventricle. And the same thing happens here. This valve closes because you don't want it to back, back up into the left atrium. So this valve has to close. And so then you have one more valve here. And this is your aortic valve because it's the aorta that takes the blood out to the whole body. And so you have your aortic valve. So it goes through the aortic valve to the aorta and from the aorta out into the body. And so that's the flow of the heart and that's the way you want things going because then when you start talking about the problems that the heart has, if, it, if there's problems on the left side of the heart, you know it has to go back to the lungs. So then they're going to have problems with their breathing, they're going to have problems with the congestion that is in their in the left side of the heart into their lungs. Where if it's on the right side of the heart, it's going to have to do with their whole peripheral system in their body. So that's why it's important to know the structures and the flow of the heart.